Captain Myers. Welcome to the sixth programme of the opening round of uh, Challenging Times. We saw Watford Institute of Technology achieve a place in the quarterfinals last week. Three places now remain in the quarterfinals, and one of those places will go to one of the teams with us here this evening. The first of the teams we meet this evening is from Sligo. It is Sligo Institute of Technology, and its team members are... Luke Hennessy from Sligo, studying IT support. Gregory Kelly, team captain from Donegal, studying for a degree in management. Killian Glynn from Bannon and County Cork doing postgraduate research. <clears throat> Their opponents this evening come from Dunleary, Dunleary Institute of Design, Art and Technology, or Design, Dunleary Institute of Art, Design and Technology have the most complicated and the longest names of any of the contestants in Challenging Times this year. The Dunleary team members are? Uh, Carl Brennan from Airfield in the north side of the city. I am studying uh, television and video production. Fal Harney from Bayside and the north side of Dublin, and I'm studying TV and video production. William Kane, Roscommon, studying TV and video production. So there we have it, uh, down there against Sligo. Uh, old rules, new rules, uh, five points for opening questions, leading on to three team questions, which each uh, 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 win five points also. And of course, the team questions uh, conferring is permitted. Fingers on buzzers, you're open for five. What is the first course in Italian meals called, consisting of a variety of items? Gregory Kelly Sligo. Antipasto. Antipasto is the correct answer. That's a gourmet from Donegal. Here are your team questions. What are the names of the first three singles from the Irish boy band Westlife, each of which uh, reached number one in the UK charts? Okay. Swear it again. That's right. Flying without wings. Flying without wing uh, wings is right. I know it's demeaning having to know these <laughs> things. But One final uh, go, please. Okay, well let let it go because if I let you go, it would have been uh, would have got you the third answer. Fingers on buzzers. You're open for five. What uh, club defeated uh, Ankaharua to win the Galway Senior Football Final? Killian Glynn, Sligo. Killarea is the correct answer, correct answer, Killian, well done. Where are you from, Killian? Bannon, 10 mm, oh, well, That's a good, good, good answer indeed. It's not as if you're a local boy. Here are your team questions. Who murdered the revolutionary leader Jean Paul Marat in his bath? Have a go. Matter Harry. <laughs> no, Charlotte Corday. Uh, Nadine Gordimer, the writer, was born in what country? Russia? No, it is South Africa. And who cut the Gordian knot in 333 BC? Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great is correct. Fingers on buzzers. Can you name the subject, and we'll accept the initials, which was examined for the first time in the junior certificate in June 1999? It was William Keane Dunleary. Is it PE? No, five point penalty done there. You get this Sligo, but please don't confer. A junior certificate in June 1999. It was introduced on a pilot basis in 1993 and became compulsory in 1997. What was the subject called? And don't confer. Gregory. IT. Say that again. IT. No, it is uh, CSPE, uh, civic, civic, social and political education. Fingers on buzzers. Who is the only pupil at Hogwarts Academy to have had three books written about him? If you don't know this, no guess is going to get it for you. It's, it's Harry Potter. On what date, and we want the exact day, month, and year, will euro notes and coins be introduced into circulation? Gregory Kelly Sligo. January 1st, 2002. That's the correct answer. Well interrupted, Gregory. Here are your team questions. Which uh, Prime Minister of Northern Ireland died in November 1940? Craig. 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 Craig is correct. Which Prime Minister of Northern Ireland resigned in 1963? Faulkner. Faulkner. No, it was Basil Brooke. And who was the second Prime Minister of Northern Ireland? Uh, 
Get an answer, move on. Faulkner. No, it was um, Andrews. Fingers on buzzers. What word describes a stunningly handsome young man, a Greek guard associated with... William Keane and Don Leary. Adonis. Five point penalty, you get uh, the rest of the question, Sligo, don't confer. Uh, a Greek guard associated with the light, poetry, archery and medicine and a number of US moon exploration spacecraft. Apollo. Gregory. Apollo is the correct answer. Here are 10 questions. What film about intelligent man-eating sharks was directed by Rennie Harlan in 1999? Deep Blue Sea. Deep Blue Sea is correct. Who was the British author of the play The Deep Blue Sea, filmed in 1955? Alan Bleasdale. No, it was um, Terence Rattigan of Irish parents. And what play by Terence Rattigan was filmed in 1999 by David Mamet? Have an answer? Onegan? No, it was the Winslow boy. Fingers on buzzers. He became the 64th Freeman of uh, Dublin in recognition of his unique contribution to Irish culture. He received the freedom of the city in May 1990. Killian Glynn Sligo. Gay Byrne is correctly interrupted, Killian. That gives you these questions. In what year was the Lusitania sunk by a German submarine? 1912. 1915. In what year did the Titanic sink? 1912. 1912. 1912 is correct. And what was the name of the Cunard liner which arrived at the scene of the Titanic disaster one hour and 20 minutes later and rescued many people? The Nantucket? No, it was the Carpathia. Fingers on buzzers. What in late medieval times was the woven tapestry named after a town in northern France? Gregory Kelly Sligo. Aris. Aris is the correct answer, Gregory, and good form this evening. That gives you your team questions. Who was the German engineer whose company developed the magneto and spark plug for use in cars? Have an answer, please. Seaman. No, it's Bosch. Who is the author of the crime novels featuring the detective Harry Bosch? Have an answer? No, um. Michael Kennelly. And in the uh, novels featuring Harry Bosch, uh, Harry is a diminutive of the, Harry, of the hero's first name. What is his full name? Have a go. Harwell. No, it is Hieronymus. Fingers on buzzers. This poet who was born in County Limerick wrote bilingual collection. Killian Glynn, Slago. Michael Hartnett. Well, very well interrupted, Killian. That is the correct answer. That gives you these three team questions. In which play by Shakespeare is Gloucester blinded on stage? Have an answer, please. As you like it. No, it is uh, King Lear. Two of King Lear's daughters were Goneril and Regan. Can you name the third daughter? No, you don't know. Anastasia. No, it's Cordelia. At least it ended in A. You got that right. And the uh, part of King Lear was recently played by the actor who played the title role in the play, The Madness of uh, King George III. Can you name him? No guesses? Nigel Havers? No, Nigel Hawthorne. You got the first name, but we needed the full surname. Fingers on buzzers, please. Which country is bordered on the north and northwest by Bolivia, on the south, southeast, and southwest by Argentina, and on the east by Brazil? Cahill, Brennan, Don Leary. Uh, Paraguay. Paraguay is well answered, Cahill. That gives you these team questions. In which city did the political Watergate scandal of the 1970s take place? Uh, Washington, D.C. Washington D. is correct. When President Nixon of the United States resigned, he was succeeded by his vice president. Who was he? Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford is correct. And by what name was the film director Sean Aloysius Ofini better known? He died in California in 1973. Who was he? John Ford. Maximum points on that round. Carl, well done indeed. We are th uh, one third of the way through this uh, programme of Challenging Times with the score standing at Sligo Institute of Technology, 75 points, Dunleary Institute, 20 points. <laughs> I should have, of course, said uh, Dunleary Institute of Design, Art and Technology. At this point, we come to our picture questions. The two teams are going to be shown a clip of video and a question will follow. That ancient and proud country in a campaign of great freedom had sensibly elected its first post-war government formed by Prime Minister Suarez's Central Democratic Union. Spain, apart from its running battle with Basque extremists, put in its bid to become a stable member of the EEC. Okay. Whom did Juan Carlos succeed as head of state in Spain? 
Carl Brennan, Don Leary. Uh, General Franco. Franco is the correct answer. Well done. That brings you these three team questions, and of course you may confer. What is the Spanish word for Parliament? Uh, Cordier. No, it has to be Cortes. Cortes. Juan Carlos became king in what year? 1975. 1975 is correct. And the wife of Juan Carlos, uh, Princess Sofia, is the daughter of a king. Of which country was he king? Greece. Greece is the correct answer. Got back into the scoring business there, done very well done. Fingers on buzzers, you're open up for five. Can you name the general who commanded the Southwest Pacific Theatre in the Second World War? Gregory Kelly Sligo. Douglas MacArthur. General Douglas MacArthur is the correct answer here. Your team questions. What composer's works are referred to by their BWV number, these being their entry in the catalogue prepared by the German musicologist Wolfgang Schmieder? Beethoven. No, it is Bach. What composer's works are referred to by their K number, where K stands for Kochel? Handel. No, it is Mozart. And what composer's works are referred to by their D number, D being Otto E. Deutsch? Wagner. No, it was um, Schubert. Difficult questions, I grant you. Very difficult questions indeed. Fingers on buzzers. What unit of heat energy equivalent to 252 calories is defined? Killian Glynn Sligo. Two. Five point penalty, Sligo. You get this done there and don't confer. As defined as the amount of heat necessary to raise the temperature of one pound of water by one degree Fahrenheit. Don't confer. Val. Kelvin. No, it is British thermal unit, unit, unit BTU. Fingers on buzzers. His mother was an international rower and his father was a world champion driver. Can you name this man who won the Formula One champion? Cahill Brennan, Dunley. Uh, Hill, Damon Hill. Damon Hill is the correct answer, Cahill. That's uh, well answered indeed, well interrupted. Here are your 10 questions. The Hoenums were talking animals in Gulliver's Travels. What kind of animals were they? Donkeys. Donkeys. No, they were horses, because the Hoenum is like the, the neigh of a horse. What was the second name of the brother and sister Charles and Mary who wrote uh, Tales from Shakespeare in the 19th century? Have a guess. Arthur's. No, it was lamb. And what kind of animal was the golden idol made by Aaron and worshipped by the Israelites while Moses was on Mount Sinai? A sheep. No, it was a calf. Fingers on buzzers. You're open up for five. Who was the friend of Oscar Wilde who coined the phrase, the love that dare not speak its name? William Keane Don Leary. Was it Peter? No, five-point penalty, Sligo. You get this. The, the love that dare not speak its name to describe a homosexual attachment. Don't confer. Any guesses? OK, we'll throw that one away. Lord Alfred Doug Douglas. Bosey. Fingers on buzzers. This American film actor died in June 1999. He had... Gillian Glynn Sligo. S five point penalty. So I go, you come up with the answer immediately. You get this done there and don't confer. He planned originally to be a doctor, but instead became one of the most famous fictional doctors as a ship's resident surgeon. The ship was the Enterprise, and he played the part of Dr. L uh, Leonard McCoy. What was his name? DeForest Kelly. DeForest Kelly Carl is the right answer. That gives you these team questions. The writer David E. Kelly has created two TV series set in law firms. What are the names of the two programs? L.A. Law and Ali McBeal. Ali McBeal is one. The answer, the second one was the practice. And uh, the third question is, what film actress is David E. Kelly married to? Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer. My, Michelle Pfeiffer is right. Two out of your three. Fingers on buzzers. Who beat Venus Williams in the semi-final of the U.S. Open tennis tournament before being beaten by Venus's sister Serena in the final? Gregory Kelly Sligo. Martin Hingis. That's the correct answer, Martin Hingis. That gives you these three team questions. In the uh, Bible, David slew Goliath. Of which people was Goliath the champion? Philistines. The poor old Philistines, of whom nobody ever has a good word. The Philosopher's Stone was, according to tradition, sought by alchemists because it had a very important power. What was its legendary power? It could change lead to gold. Well, it could change any metal to gold, and you can do it with lead, you can do it with almost anything. So I'll accept that answer. And gold was discovered in 1848 in California, triggering the massive gold rush of the 49ers in the following year. Can you name the mill where the gold was first discovered? Eureka. No, it was Sutter's Mill. Fingers on buzzers. What is the metal with the symbol B and the atomic number 5, the ability of which to absorb slow neutrons has led to its use in control? 
Gillian Glynn Sligo. Barium. The five pound penalty, you get this question done, Larry, and don't confer. Has that to its use in control rods in nuclear reactors? Have an answer? Okay, it was he, he was actually quite close in the sound. It was boron rather than barium. Obviously, I couldn't accept uh, an imprecise answer or even an incorrect one. Fingers on buzzers. Can you name the daughter of the boxer, Muhammad Ali? Luke Hennessy Slagle. Leila. Leila is the correct answer. Ali, and obviously, her surname is going to be Ali. That, uh, that gives you these three team questions. Um, your first team question is, who was the French economist born in 1767 whose law of market states that supply creates its own demand? Uh, have an answer? It is uh, say. In what uh, major key is Schubert's last great symphony, his ninth, composed? E. No, it was actually C. And what city was from 1949 to 1990 the provisional capital of West Germany? Bonn. Bonn. And the three answers there were, say, C and Bonn. <laughs> Fingers on buzzers. What Italian word which comes from the Latin to fall is used in music for an, an elaborate virtuoso passage, passage given by a solo performer towards the end of a movement? Gregory Kelly Sligo. Libretto. No, uh, that's not correct. No penalty. You didn't interrupt me. Have, this, have a go, Don Leary. Nothing. Uh, William. Algresso. No, uh, Cadenza. But you're right to have a, a, a go. It'll cost you nothing. Fingers on buzzers. What English school is associated with the song which contains the lines, uh, blade on the feather, shade off the trees, swing, swing together? Carl Brennan, Don Leary. Eaton. Eaton is the correct answer. Carl, here are your team questions. Who was the first person to have been given the freedom of the town of uh, Navan? You don't have to do that, Val. It's all yours. You don't Pierce have to Brosnan. Be with any. Pierce Brosnan is right. Pierce Brosnan received the, this honour in November 1999, at the same time that his latest Bond movie was being premiered. Can you name it? The World Is Not Enough. That is correct. The World Is Not Enough. And finally, in which of the James Bond films which appeared in 1964 did a thief set his sights on Fort Knox and its contents? Goldfinger. Goldfinger. Goldfinger is the correct answer. We're two-thirds of the way through this programme of Challenging Times with a score standing at Sligo Institute of Technology, Dunleary uh, Institute of Art, Design and Technology, 90 points. <laughs> you see, sometimes, Dunleary, I do get your name right, but not always. At this point, we come to a uh, music question. There's a piece of music to follow. The question is, what is the name of this Latin dance tune? Gregory Kelly Sligo. Mambo number five. That is the correct answer, Gregory. That gives Sligo these three pieces of music to listen to. Listen to them to the end before you come up with an answer, and of course you may confer. The next three pieces all have a Latin touch. Who is this singer? Enrique Iglesias. That is the correct answer. What group is this? When the rhythm, the rhythm starts to play, that's when the other men swear, like the lazy ocean lights the shore. Do you have any theories on that? <laughs> rhythm Factory. <laughs> no, it was uh, Shaft, and your final piece of music has this question attached to it. What do the um, first two Latin words in this piece mean? Gentlemen, how is your Latin? More music. More music. No, it says the Lord said, Dixit Thomas. Okay, back to the. Uh, Conventional questions, fingers on buzzers. What, according to the book of Revelations in the Bible, is the number of the beast? Gregory Kelly Sligo. 666. Yes, indeed. Uh, you were just ahead of uh, Don Larry there. Uh, and that gives you, uh, that speed gives you these three team questions. What was the pseudonym that the Russian uh, revolutionary Yosef Djokovsvili was using at the time of his death in 1953? Solzhenitsyn. No, Joseph Stalin. In what country which became independent of the Soviet Union in 1991 was Stalin born? Georgia. 
George is correct. And what Bolshevik newspaper did Stalin edit for a period in 1913 and again in 1917? Pravda. Pravda is the correct answer. And in 1913, he could barely speak um, Russian yet. He was still editing a Russian language newspaper. Quite a feat. Fingers on buzzers. What is the milk protein that is the main constituent of... Killian Glynn Slagle. Case. Well done, answered. Well answered indeed. That gives you these team questions. Uh, what phrase, which can be paraphrased uh, as dense as robbers, can be used to describe people who are close friends? Thickest thieves. Thickest is... thieves is right. What in Old English law was the name given to the right to judge and find thieves taken outside one's own jurisdiction? Have an answer, please. Malover. No, it's outfang thief. And what was the name given to the right to judge and find thieves taken inside the jurisdiction? Infang thief? That is the correct answer. <laughs> we were, I certainly hadn't heard of neither uh, uh, category, but we were hoping to rely on your intelligence. And it was there. Thank you, Gregory. It was indeed there. Fingers on buzzers. Which country was ruled by the House of Habsburg in the 60s? Gregory Kelly Sligo. Austria. Five-point penalty, Sligo. You get this question done there in Duncan Fir. In the 16th and 17th centuries, followed by the House of Bourbon from 1700 to 1808, Joseph Bonaparte was then installed as the ruler. To which country are we referring? Don't confer. France. No, it's in fact Spain. Things on buzzers. It takes its name from the Spanish word for shade. It was originally made of felt or straw. Its brim could be up to two feet wide. What is this type of hat? Luke Hennessy Sligo. Sombrero. Sombrero, Luke, is the correct answer. Here are your team questions. This uh, city was once the capital of the kingdom of the two Sicilies. It is about 120 miles from Rome. Can you name it? Have an answer, please. Vienna. No, it is Naples. Sicily is separated from the mainland of Italy by which strait? Isthmus of Corinth. Say that again. Isthmus of Corinth. No, no, it is the Strait of Messina. And in the Strait of Messina, according to ancient Greek legend, there were two extremely dangerous female monst monsters. Carabidus was one. Can you name the other? Cressida. Uh, sorry? Cressida. No, it is Scylla. You're close, but uh, you had an, an extra syllable there you didn't need. Fingers on buzzers. What is the drug which the British athletes Doug Walker, Gary Cadogan, and Linford Christie all taste, tested positive? Killian Glynn Sligo. Nandrolone. Well done, Killian. That is the correct answer. Here are your chin questions. Liturgical directions in mass books are called rubrics after the colour in which they were originally printed. What colour was that? Red. Red is correct. What is the present name of the house called from 1818 to 1902, the executive mansion? Have an answer, please. Shannon. Gentlemen, please. Uh, Arison no, Uchteron. No, uh, the White House. The White House. Oh. And you were... That was the last of the, the two, three questions. The two, the two, you only got two of the three questions because the program is now over. And the score stands at Sligo Institute of Technology, 165 points. Donnery Institute of Art, Design and Technology, 95 points. Well done, Sligo. You um, put up a good performance from the beginning, and you're through to the quarterfinals, and uh, we look forward to seeing you there. So thanks very much for your contribution this evening, and you'll do well, I hope, in, in challenging times in future rounds. Bad luck, didn't they? You, um, you had a difficult start, and the great thing was you came back from that difficult start. It's horrible when you, you, you're not scoring and the other team are scoring, and um, it can be very dispiriting. But you cope very well with adversity, and you managed to get nearly 100 points in a very short amount of time. So you had lots of guts, and clearly you had the knowledge there. So thanks very much for your performance this evening. And you weren't helped at all by my complete failure to remember your name uh, properly and faithfully uh, throughout. But never mind, you survived, and uh, we look forward to seeing you at some future dispensation, but not alas, this year. So thank you for joining us for this program of Challenging Times. Join us next week when Dublin Institute of Technology will meet the challenge of uh, King's Inns of Dublin. In the meantime, thank you very much. Goodbye and uh, good night.